How's it gaming? I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Let's use our new canoe to head into these, like, series of canals or whatever, streams, rivers, and uh, head over to our next elemental dungeon. We've got a white croc. Uh, if there are a lot of enemies, feel free to use Thundara. Almost everything in the rivers are... Damn, these guys got have some HP. Ooh, and they hit hard! Um, they are all weak to uh, lightning, so let's actually use our new Hilara. Woo! And Thundara as well. You can't get Thundaga yet. Oh, that's the Coral Sword. Very cool looking. Uh, feel free to use as much MP as you want, because we're going to be using a tent directly outside of the volcano anyways, so. Let's heal up. Wow, 4,000 gil? Really? Wow. Uh, heal up everyone, yeah. Go. Uh, oh yeah, this is like a series of canals, rivers, whatever. It's like a bit of a maze. Let's see where we need to go. We actually just want to go right there. The whole area. Look at all this. So much. There's nothing to do around here or the swamps over here. It's kind of wasted space. I guess it makes the world feel a little bit more realistic because it's not just, you know, there's something to do everywhere. Ooh, Hydra. Uh, just, just regular thunder. Probably not a whole lot. 16, yeah. Those white crocs meant business, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah. They must just be really hard enemies. I just got really unlucky or something. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so a couple uh, different things from last episode. We are level 22 instead of 21. Uh, it's because I went back to Elfheim and bought 99 potions and 99 antidotes. Uh, we have more than enough money. It's very cheap to do that. It's 5,000 gil to get all that. That's nothing to us anymore. We also took out um, one of our black magic spells, Fokara, and we've actually changed it to... Uh, that's wrong, you guys. Um, we actually ended up getting Hold, and that is for a specific fight inside the uh, volcano. Even though it's only level 3 spell, it's nice to have it for this. If it works, it might not work. It's like a 33% chance for it to work, but it'd be nice if it did. Did not need to use Fyraga there, do not care. Cross with a little canoe, and there's the volcano. Let's use a... Uh, let's use a tent. What is it? Partially restores HP and MP. Should be fine. We didn't use a lot of HP or MP, so should fill us up. Let's see. Yes, we did just fine. We'll save right outside. Save into a different file here. I like to kind of save in a bunch of files just in case one of our episodes doesn't tape properly. It's already happened. We're only on the eighth episode, so jump in. Mount Gulg. You can see there's some lava. You're like, don't walk in the lava. No, you must walk in the lava. And for every step, everyone in your party will take one HP of damage, but you can't actually take any damage, or sorry, any battles while you're doing that, which is pretty neat. Basement two is weird. If you want to just beat the level, go straight to the left. It's just a straight path uh, to the next stairs, but we are not doing that. We are exploring a little bit. Uh, in fact, let's actually, hmm, let's be methodical about this. Bunch of doors over there. We want to go to this really large area at the top. Unfortunately, we do not have anything good for Blizzard spells. We don't have Blizzara, which we could have gotten. Uh, no, I, I think that's the one we couldn't have gotten. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. We, we don't have enough levels for the next uh, magic level anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, we got the spiked floors back. Fire Elemental, of course. Let's see how much Blizzard does. It's only 8 MP, so hopefully it'll be something. A7, 224. Jeez, that critical hit took him out. All right, don't have to worry about that. We didn't do those crits. Oh no, I didn't get I didn't get the treasure chest. We're gonna fight him again. Oh well, whatever, not a big deal. I keep doing that. Oh geez, we, oh, okay, really, that didn't kill him? All right, that did, good job, Zara. Yeah, uh, if we keep doing this, it won't be too hard. Nice money, we always want that money. Always worth it. Oh, we've done this before. This will be no problem at all, actually. Um, how much does heal our on everyone? 25, geez. Guess I could just use um, Fyra. Actually, Blizzard would be better. Blizzard is technically more powerful. Uh, I don't think these guys are weak to anything specific, but hopefully it'll kill them. Or else it's just a waste. Nice. And remember, we have Scourge now, too. So if you know uh, there's a lot of enemies and you know you won't be able to cheese, won't be able to kill them all, that's a good thing to kind of just be able to do. I also don't want to use too much of our magic. I mean, we still have a boss at the end of this. It's a pretty big dungeon, though, so... 
Ooh, egg eggs. More uh, things from uh, original Dungeons and Dragons. Ooh, wow. Okay, they have a lot of HP. Don't hit too much. I'm surprised it's not that poisoning either. That's still really good. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Do a quick heal, Ara. Kill him, and this will kill him if it hits. Hilara? Oh, ah, damn. Really? It'd be nice to get the healing going, but not a big deal. Oh, level up. It's always nice. Keep going. Actually, no. Only over here? Yes. A little bit of a maze around here. Horned Devils, kind of the same thing. I don't want to be using Blizzard all the time. I mean, it's we have a lot of MP for Dev, but... I have one ether. I should have bought some ethers, to be honest. Decent uh, HP. Yeah, things are definitely harder here than they were in the Earth Cave. Absolutely, you know. Okay. It's not a bad idea, too, to just go in here, get some treasures, and leave. We might even do that. Depending on how, how rough it is uh, by the time we get to lower floors, we might leave and come back. It means more levels when you get down to it, so... Keep forgetting to use Hilara again. Like, to actually, you know, make it work. I want to use it in the battle. I want to see it. Mithril Helm! I don't think I need it, though, because I think I already have one. No, I don't. Yes! There we go. Mithril Helm. Bam. Thank you. And we'll be able to get something else in Mithril. I think it's the gloves as well. Uh, so that's good. Look at this maze! Oh my gosh, is it worth it, Phil? I don't know. That's up to you, man. It might not be. <laughs> it might not be at all. Ooh, two of them. Yeah, lots of stuff are weak to Blizzard in this area, except for, I think, the boss, which might not be. There we go, Hilara. Yeah, it looks so good. Good, I love that. It looks so nice. And almost 100, like, that's great healing. Nice. Lots of money, too. Great sword. How great, though. Ooh. Accuracy's up. But it's not enough to bring up to that uh, next... Uh, that next threshold for my, um, for my attacks. Can we use it, though? You can't. Okay. Because we need you to get to 128, I believe, is the next, um, divisible by 32. So, we're fairly far away from that at this point, so we don't need to worry about that. There are still some enemies from, um, from the Cavern of Earth here, so... Sometimes it's just a fairly simple fight, which is okay by me. So it turns out Ankhegs can absolutely poison you, because I got poisons right there. A lot of, uh, a lot of healing to be done. Hey, how much is Hilara again? 25. Yeah, you know what? Cure's probably better anyways in the long run. Yeah. I'm gonna make it to the top here, make it all the way to the left. And we will go down here, actually. Yes, that curves around. Such a weird area. Oof, Ank Hegs hit hard. I don't care who you are, that hurts. Oh, we gained a level, again. Good, we're gaining levels pretty quickly, actually, which is fantastic, because where are we at right now? 24, I'm okay with that. Oh, damn you, spiked trigger. Yeah, it is, okay. Um, I'm okay with just defending. I want to save some MP. We're gonna start using potions outside of the fights too. Because we are already down to 146 for, for Zara. Which isn't like low or anything, obviously, but during a boss fight, we want to uh, heal up. Money. Money. Very good money. And straight down, down again. I love fighting the Hill Gigases. They're still worth a decent amount of money and experience, so that's great. Ooh, we've got a whole whack of treasure chest down there. Spiked uh, floor there, which makes sense. Mithril Glove. Mithril Helm again. So if you have more than one fighter, that's really good. Ooh, high potion. High potion. Haha. <laughs> Tent, which is always nice. Lots of money. Spiked again. No. Ooh, it is, but something different. A lava worm. My goodness. Uh. uh regular blizzard. How this goes. The big worms like this are always very, very dangerous fights in all Final Fantasy games. Doesn't matter which Final Fantasy you're playing. 
Damn, Blizzard doing over 100? That's really good. And I've noticed that Kieran Zara have the exact same amount of HP. That's really funny to me. Nice money. Money again. Antidote? Well, I mean, I used one, so that's good. Be another trigger here. Mithril Axe, in case you want that. Shield. And, yeah, of course. I don't know if it's a rule that Ankhegs all need to be, uh... Like, it's all four of them at once, but geez. Alright, Antidote. Yeah, lots of potions here for, uh, for Kira. Took a lot of damage there. And you can thankfully use them really fast, as you can see, which is really nice. And you're gonna get to a point where we're gonna stock up every time we go to a, a, a town. Nice, we avoided that spike one. And now we're just gonna go straight up. Actually, no, I think we'll have to get it a different way. Another, another fire hydro! These guys are easy, though, at this point. Yeah, see? We're gaining those levels, man. Levels really matter in the original Final Fantasy. They didn't really matter all that much. Uh, in later Final Fantasy games, because it's all about the like materia system or the junctioning system. But man, the first Final Fantasy, it's all about those levels. Next floor, uh, weird area. You can go left or right. There's nothing to the left. A bunch to the right. We are going to get to a point now where we want to go on lava just to avoid battles if we can. Why not? There are no treasures on this floor, so we're just going to keep going. There we go. Not bad. Same here. There are no treasure chests. Where are we? Wanna go down? Do I wanna go down? Where am I? Yeah, let's just run through. We'll heal up right before we hit land. Actually, we'll just go down here. How are we doing? We're still actually doing pretty good, all things considered. There we go, not bad. Same thing, my goodness. A lot of uh, no fights and no treasures, if you really know what you're doing. It's that first big... Uh, floor that we're at. That's that's really the problem. That's okay. We're actually getting there. We're starting to get there. There we go. Now we've got some stuff we can do, I believe. So up here. Trigger? No? Trigger? Okay. Ghoul Needle? I'm okay with that. There's the trigger. There's the trigger. Another Lava Worm. Oh, no. Ooh. Um, Blizzard again. Try to heal up again. Not that, not that we've lost a lot of HP. Yeah, about 60. Crunch. Very nice. Very nice. Wouldn't wind one more level before uh, the boss. I don't think it matters. See how we're doing for experience, anyways. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get it. Okay, good. Very good. And where do we want to go? Down and then I'll split, I believe. Yeah, and there's another a lot of little rooms in this uh in this basement. And we're pretty much just about there. The, the last Oh gosh! I forgot you guys have that. We're gonna start seeing some multi-target abilities from some enemies, and they are very frustrating, as you can see. Definitely not a, a nice thing to get hit by. In the ice cave, especially, you get a lot of like ice attacks, like like snowstorm and all that. Money, lots of money. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. You want to keep going uh, to beat the level? Just go down instead of where I'm going. But we want those treasures. I am a greedy bitch. Nice antidote. 880 gill. Ice brand. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. A sword gripped by winter's chill. Now we are ridiculously powerful, specifically for this area. Not so much the ice cave. For, which is the next place we're going to go. Let's see how much damage we do here against this guy. I used just use fire. That was dumb of me. 28 damage. Wow. Take out the sword itself, too. Oh, looks so good. 128. I don't know if that was better or worse, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe this guy isn't weak, too. Oh, I know he's got to be. Blizzard was doing over 100, but yeah, it's nice to have this. So, yes. Thank you. Definitely worth coming here. Ooh, 7,000 gil. And the flame shield. Now, my thing with the flame stuff is that I shield alive with the power of fire. Now, does that mean I'm, I'm, am I good against fire or bad against fire? I actually don't know. Whatever, it's, it's better defense. I guess I'll equip it. I guess. We'll find out, I guess, right? Together? Maybe? I forgot minotaurs were here too. Wow. Old school enemies for us at this point. Make our way back down to the crossroad. And let's use up some potions. Need more than that, buddy. Anytime we see a door, though, we want to go into it because that just means more treasure chests. 
try to avoid sitting right in front, because uh, there's probably going to be some spike tiles. Um, here it seems like they put it kind of in the middle of the room, but usually I try to go to treasure chest on the side. It just seems to be better that way. There we go. Nice, another level. There we go. Fantastic. Not a lot of money. Oh, 10 gil! That is nothing! And some careful of fights here. Ooh, one that's already open. Ah, uh, let's go to the sides. Cottage. I'm okay with that. And 2,000 gil. Okay, cool. We were looking for, though, there's another piece of armor. And this is where it really, it really starts to show that the game expects you to have more than one fighter. Uh, just because the amount of armor and swords that you can get that no one else can use but them. It's really funny. Uh, let's heal up. There we go. And go around here at the side. Staff obtained. Not a big deal. Oh, hmm. All right. I thought there was a flame armor, but not. I guess not. All right. I think we are there. I think we're on the last floor. Yes, we are. If you want to finish the dungeon, we're actually doing very good, especially on time. Go to the bottom left. But we are going to explore a couple of the other... Whoops. We're going to explore a couple of the other areas. You start at the top right. And you do have to traverse some areas without lava here, unfortunately. Well, we did okay there. Actually, I think this might be an empty chest. According to my little book. I'm still using that Nintendo Power Guide. Let's find out. Yes, it's, okay. So we only... There's only one area to go to then. We're just going to run back. And we're going to stay on the lava. So there's basically like a clock. There are a bunch of rooms on the outer edges. And we're going to go to the left one here, I think. Yeah, we're doing okay. This one's the dangerous one. I remember it well. I remember this well. Oof, only one way to get there. And that is going through a bunch of tiles here. Ooh, fire lizard. Okay. Uh, you know what? I should have, should not have gone in there without healing. Let's use Healar just in case anything happens. And Blizzard. We're doing fine for HP, or MP for Dev. To be honest, we're fine for Zera too. The boss is right around the corner, so. Yeah, that's good. Here we go. Here's the fight. A red dragon. Oh, no. Defend Blizzard. Let's... These guys can be very powerful. Blaze, good that we healed up. Holy crap! Over 100 for everyone. Oof. Thankfully, because this is Final Fantasy 1, fights go fast, but they are... They hit hard, basically. Let's do a quick heal for everyone. Okay, and let's see what we got. Flame Mail. Thank you. Let's put our Flame Mail on our mail and get... That's 69 evasion. The defense doesn't go up, but that evasion. It's infused with the power of fire. Again, I'm not sure if this is bad for me to use. Who knows? But let's get out of here. Fight that fire lizard one more time, I believe. Pretty easy. We're just going to smack him across the face a few times. Wow, 255. If uh, damage was only one bit, that would be maximum damage. But thankfully, that is not the case in Final Fantasy 1. Even old Final Fantasy 1, you could, you could do over 1,000 damage. Okay. Here we go. And that is every treasure chest. I'm annoyed because this game doesn't actually have the treasure chest listed. Some of the other versions of Final Fantasy do. This one does not. So you, you're like, oh, did I miss something? You won't know. But I think the Pixel Remaster fixes that too. So yeah, as you go down here. Oh gosh, let us save. Let us save, my friends. So you are the ones who defeated the Fiend of Earth and roused Merilith from her slumber. Oh! Little surprise they all get. Lich was like a scary skeleton. Merilith's eh, she's pretty hot. Not just because she's in a volcano. The power of the burning flame is mine and mine alone. Those who would oppose me shall burn in hellfire. Okay. Oof. She looks strong. <laughs> and another reminder of this uh, uses a lot of Dungeons and Dragons enemies. All four of the elemental fiends actually are, are based on monsters from Dungeons and Dragons. In the original FF1, though, she was actually called Carrie for some reason. Don't know why. Doesn't matter. Null Blaze. And here we go for all the marbles. Let's use Hold. It only has like a 30% chance, basically one in three chance. 
And uh, as you can see from the side there, weirdly enough for a major boss, god, nine damage is nothing. She is uh, weak to a lot of status ailments, which is very weird for a big boss. Come on. It worked. Holy crap. Okay, cool. That's good. Let's get in there right now. Uh, we should be fine with you. And let's haste and temper. Oh, 207. We're already doing great damage now for Solomon. We didn't even use anything yet. Double the amount of strikes you can do. And do more damage in general. Nice, Solomon. Take her down. She's, I believe, has 1,400 HP. 500. Oh my gosh. We're basically good already. Might as well get Kira in there, too. Do more than 40. Actually, she might be dead from this. Oh, no. Almost, though. Next round. Won't even bother with temper at this point. And that makes it an easy fight. She is way harder if she can do things. She can use Fyra, which is over 100 HP to everyone in my party. She can be very difficult. But, thankfully, we uh, had hold. So, hurrah. Very, very nice. And that is two of the four elemental crystals reawakened, repowered, I don't know what you want to call it, revitalized, I have no idea. Huzzah. And just like with the Earth Gift Shrine, in the Hellfire Chasm, which we haven't actually seen yet, we get another one of those optional dungeons. We are going to ignore it until the end of the game, though, so... Don't even have to worry about it. Yay! And we were, what, level 25? We definitely want level 26. I want to get um, upgraded magic for both Zara and Dev. Dev can do it. I think Zara needs to wait for level 26. But we are, uh, we can just walk around and use our MP like crazy while we head back to, uh, to Crescent Lake. Or I could go and get no battles whatsoever. Really? No fights. Not even a white croc? A powerful white croc? Maybe? Ooh, there we go. We get some more enemies we haven't really gotten to see. And, oh yeah, I still don't have Thundaga. Just Thundara. Ochus are cool. Uh, you don't really see them very often in Final Fantasy. The first time I really saw an Ochu was Final Fantasy uh, X, which was like a major thing there. But it's so funny, I didn't realize they were in Final Fantasy I back then, so. Crocodiles are also weak to ice, I believe. I'm not sure on that, but they're fine. They're dead. Okay, how much experience do we need? That was 700 experience to everyone. I need I needed like 3,000 of that. So not very many fights until I get that, but I will just... Uh, do a little bit of leveling right outside. There we go. That's better. I mean, it's bad that it's uh, an ambush, but... Damn. Well, this is where Scourge comes into play, at least in my opinion. Yulara. And Scourge. Whew. By the way, if Hold wasn't going to work on Merilith, I would have used Slower. That would... Oh, no! We have a dead person, our first death. That's okay, we'll use life. In a second there. And life, revives one KO'd alley, Al alley, ally. I don't know how, for how much I have HP though. So I wouldn't mind if Zero went last just so he didn't get hit. Mm, woo, looks great though. We little cherub angel, oh, one HP. Yup, oh man. Oof, okay. Well, let's heal you like crazy. I don't have enough HP or MP for Kiraga. Take them out fast. Don't attack Dev. Oof, okay, we're fine. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Scourge for no reason. Miss. I wasted MP, it's fine. At least that I don't like it when, when everyone's out of experience sync, if that makes any sense. I know it doesn't matter, but it's a weird thing for me. I'm just going to go uh, quickly rest up and level up to level 26. I'll be right back, guys. 
There we go. Everyone's leveled up a little bit. It means we're just gonna go back to the inn and take out that. that poison. There we go. Um, actually, might as well fill up our antidotes and all that. Potions up. Wow, we used a ton of them already. That's the way it usually is. I can't update my antidotes. That's fine. We don't need all that many antidotes. Let's heal really quick. We don't have a lot of time in the today's episode's le episode left, uh, but it's nice that we did a full dungeon, which is great. And we're going to make it to the mouth of the next dungeon, which is still right around the corner. So that's definitely good. Yeah, I hope everyone had a good rest. Huzzah. And go. Nope, that's not where I want to go. We can also sell a bunch of stuff now that we've found a bunch of treasure, but... Let's see. All right. So, we want... We still can't get Exit, because we don't have a, a White Wizard or a Red Wizard, so we got Stona. Proterra, which is Protect for Everyone, and Invisira, which is in Invis for Everyone. Now, our buffing gets way better, because uh, for a while it was just the dev using temper and haste. Now we have Invisir and Batera, and that's a huge deal. Thank you very much for that. And Thundaga. Yeah, yes, thank you. And for these ones, uh, I'm probably going to use Quake instead of Death. Death is only to one foe, but Earthquakes to everyone. They still have to be really weak to, like, Earth, but just, I don't know. I'd rather take the chance and try to get a bunch of people. It's basically Scourge again, and not that I've been using Scourge a lot, but it's nice to have, I guess, just in case. One of those things where Final Fantasy 1 is just weird. You see anything different? You guys used to talk about Merilith, but... I don't know who it was. Where the Fiend of Fire passes, all just cast a flame. Oh yeah, I guess, there we go. Fiend of Earth rots the land. Okay, cool, we're good. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Let us continue. I don't know if anyone ever says really a lot for you to do around here at this point, because like... You'd be like, well, I guess you could go up here because you know that that's where the next stuff is, but I guess you'd be interested in exploring here anyways. So uh, let's do it. I know that it's, it's. I mean, it's Final Fantasy 1. Very old school Dungeons & Dragons. People dropping hints, you taking notes with all the uh, NPCs talking. So people are going to say stuff like, when you find a certain thing, they'll tell you where to go. Like, I know this stuff because I've played this game a million times and you're going to see me doing this stuff. Uh... But for the average player playing them for the first time, it's all brand new. It's all like, like, oh my gosh, now I know where to go because I talked to this guy. And uh, so a lot of times people might skip the ice cave because there was no reason to go there or they didn't know it was there. Uh, and when they find the thing that's there, it doesn't really make it very clear what you're supposed to do with it right away. So, But yeah, no, the reason why I like to do the volcano before the... Uh, Oh, whoops. Yeah, I'm not supposed to go this way. I'm being stupid, guys. Sorry. Um, the, uh, the reason I like to do the volcano first is because I think the ice cave is actually very, very dangerous. Uh, and it's much better to just go in with a little bit, a few more levels than uh, than I was before the, uh, the volcano. So it, to me, it was more important for me to level up a little bit, get those spells for my characters. Um, I actually, you know what? I think we're just going to call it an episode uh, because we are basically at 30 minutes, and I don't want to spend even more time. Like, 30 minutes are already longer than my usual amount of time for uh, episodes anyways. So, let's just make it to our ship, I guess. Ship is right over here, and then we're going to make our way up here and enter this little river here. There's also a port for no reason. You can get to provoke it this way, but, like, who cares? It's a weird one. Let's at least get there. Plus, I want to... Oh, I'm hoping to get some big fights so we can see, like, Thundaga and stuff like that, but... We can still do that. I'm going to be using a, a tent or a cottage or whatever before we go into the ice cave, so... Why not? Let's see what we got. Stone out, just to see it. Quake! This is Stone out. Woo! Pop! There we go. Just in case you turn into a statue. But, you know, she's dead now. Make way over. Damn you. What else do we get? Oh, Kotera. And let's use Quake again. That looks really neat. I like that. Quake. Oh, looks great. Oh, I got two of them. I don't know how much MP it was, so it's probably a waste, but... You're fighting, like, nine enemies in, like, later parts of the game where you know that you can't just take them out. 
it might be worth the gamble. You don't know. All right, we're there. With that, uh, next episode, yeah, we'll head into the ice cave and see what that brings us. I'm Foma Blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.